why the farther galaxies are away, the faster they're moving away. And is it also the case that it's the red shift explains the fact that the night sky is primarily black instead of lit up? Yeah, the latter question is related to something called Olber's paradox, which is that in an infinite universe populated with an infinite number of objects, stars in this case, no matter where you were, in that universe, you would look out and your eye, your line of sight would terminate on a star's surface somewhere. They might be really far away, but eventually your eye would come to rest on a star. So that would mean that it's a paradox that our night sky, we have during the day, we see just one star, but even at night, we don't see any, or the night sky's intensity is nowhere near as close as the surface of the sun, let alone the infinite intensity of an infinite number of suns. And it's as if you were in a forest. Imagine a, a beautiful boreal forest and it's effectively infinite. The trees are a finite width but they're and they're spaced at some distance away from you but there's an infinite number of these trees and as you scan the, around your local horizon all you would see is bark. All you would see are the trunks of these trees. That's Olber's paradox for trees and what you're bringing up is this notion that was interestingly really encountered and, and proposed and even a solution perhaps by Edgar Allan Poe. He conjectured this idea that it's kind of strange that we were told we live in an infinite universe, that even the Milky Way galaxy could be infinite in size. We didn't know back then in the 19th century. And so it began to be a paradox. Now the resolution of that paradox, as you're pointing out, is several fold. One is that the condition for the night sky to not be dark is that the universe is infinitely old, that the universe is infinitely big, and that the universe is static. These stars are not moving in that simple-minded paradox as the trees are not moving in the Olber's paradox analogy for trees. Those trees are stationary. The forest is infinite, and the light has had enough time to travel to your eyes because the universe is infinitely old. So if any one of those three propositions is falsified, then you can demolish the paradox as a paradox. So the resolution, interestingly enough, comes down to all three of those are false. It would have been sufficient to falsify one or of those three propositions. The universe is infinitely old, infinitely big, and static. But we actually know now that the universe isn't any one of those three, at least the universe that we can observe.